my name is Antonio Antonio and in this video this very 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 important video I'm talking about the formation of the plural of a verb sorry the formation of the plural of a noun I'm already used to verbs sorry so now basically these nouns we are going to talk about we are, that we're going to talk about here we are going to be providing the plural of these nouns yes I said it plural of the nouns so basically in now as I said earlier in the um, Last two um, episodes, I talked about nouns being the um, subject of a sentence, object of a sentence, and so on and so forth. So these nouns, they are also naming, they are naming and parts of speech. The parts of speech that name the um, persons, animal, places, things, and so on and so forth. Now we are going to be talking about how to form the plural of different nouns. So the first way to form the plural of different nouns, the addition of s. Now, now you can be writing this down in your notes, the ways of forming plural of nouns, so that you don't miss it, and so whenever you it it it, it um. In your even your spoken or written English, you can easily um, understand how to form the plural of nouns. For example, when I'm talking to a group of people, I will know how to use um, the um, the appropriate nouns. So I, I can't I can't just say um, I can't just use them to represent a singular person. For example, in Nigeria, we often use it. For example, if I say they are calling you to express that I'm trying to talk about someone in authority, I can I could say they are calling you, which is actually wrong in English. So it is he or she is calling you. So we in Nigeria we often make such mistakes. So if you are in Nigeria and no matter where wherever you are, you can just watch this video and understand the difference between singular and plural nouns. Or even if you understand you can use it to add your knowledge. You know, knowledge and learning never ends. Now moving on the first way of forming this the, the first way of forming the plural of a noun is by the addition of s for example if i say from book if i talk about now book i could i could say if i add s to the book that would be books and then adding s to boy will be boys adding s to the students students will be students adding s to teacher will be teachers adding s to aeroplane will be aeroplanes adding s to tree will be trees Adding cow to adding s to car will be cars, adding um, s to school will be schools, and so on and so forth. So this is the first way of adding um sorry, this is the first way of forming the plural of a noun, and that is by the addition of the s and the suffix suffix x. So in, in some series ago I talked about morphemes, right? And these suffixes they are also known as derivational, oh sorry, all right, they are inflectional morphemes. So in a previous video, so you can also check that out in the beginning video, in the first video of this introductory English course. So you can check it out so as to um, review and then um, refresh your memory. Moving on, the second way of forming the plural of, of, of a noun is by the addition of es. For example, if I talk about loss, I could I, I could I could I could say losses. If I talk about um, church, I could say churches. If I talk about dish, I talk, I, I, could, I could say the plural with dishes. If I say um, fox, the plural with foxes. So that is the addition of es. Now next, we also have the addition of es again, like tornado, tornadoes, tomato, tomatoes. So that's how you add es. Then next, you can also add ies. You can remove the y and add ies. For example, if you have lady, l-a-d-y, lady, and you want to form the plural of lady, you can also say, you can remove the y and put ies. That will be ladies. Instead of L E D Y to be the plural of lady will be L E D I E S. So take note of this. There are some nouns. For example, lady, ladies, factory, factories, family, families, army, armies, baby, babies, rally, rally, rallies, country, countries, story, stories, party, parties, so on and so forth. I love party. Moving on, we have um, I will um, when we remove the um, F E and put V E S. Alright, I want to remove the F and put V S. For example, knife and knives, wife and wives, half and halves, leaf and leaves, life and life, life and lives, chef and sheaves, loaf and loaves. That sounds like bread to me. Moving on, we have um, when we um, when the nouns end in letter O and preceded by V, we can form their plural by adding only S to it. So, for example, radio, radios, cuckoo, cuckoos. And so on and so forth. Then moving on, when we when the R now ends in F or O F, we can um, we can form the plural by adding only S. So for example, roof, roofs, dwarf, dwarfs, self, selves, brief, grapes, and so on and so forth. Then we have keys, keys, keys. That's also how you add S. Piano, pianos, commando, commandos. So we are we are also adding S to these ones. But note that these ones they have these ones they are borrowed words. So they are both from other um, languages like Latin and so on and so forth. So piano, pianos. I, I think piano is kind of like an Italian word, so on and so forth. I'm not very good in history. So moving on, we have studio, studios, YouTube studio, studio, studios. That's S-T-U-D-I-O-E-S. 
so rather like s u d i o s so you don't put the e you just put s s t u d i o s so we have michael michaels when i talk about a group of people like family so on and so forth the michaels the um babaji days so on and so forth then you can also then there are also some nouns that form very very different plural so and listen carefully this one is very important for example the plural of tooth is teeth the plural of woman is women the plural of man is men the plural of crisis is crisis but this crisis they are like um they are called um basically they are called homonyms because they are pronounced the same uh, they are called homophones because they are pronounced the same way but they are spelled differently for example the, the singular of crisis is c-r-i-s-e-s C -R -I -S -I -S, yes. then the plural is yes. Then the plural is C R I S E S. So that is how the plural is formed. So moving on, we also have um, some nouns do not have plurals. For example, pair, pair, yoke, yoke, furniture, furniture, dock, dock, vermin, vermin, ship, ship, luggage, luggage, fish, fish, dice, dice, information, information. So these nouns like and, and another is equipment. Equipment does not have um, three, three common ones are equipment, information and then um, furniture so they, they do not um have any difference between their singular and plural plural and forms so you can always take note of that so we also have um nouns that um we also have pluralia pluralia tantons so these are nouns that are that basically they are they already they, they already have s in their singular forms for example mathematics economics physics linguistics so there's no way you can make any um adjustments to this so they already they already have an s so then we also have um we also have um they are they are like compound nouns in which um you have different two or more nouns separated by half in hyphens or so on and so forth for example the um the plural of ed editor in chief is editors in chief the plural of passerby is passers by the plural of director general is directors general so and so on and so forth then we also have another one we can have is, is um, when we have the um the s added after the second noun for example, grown up, grown ups, major general, major generals, so on and so forth. So and another way you can have the S added to the two nouns. For example, woman lawyer, you can have it as women lawyers, man servants, you can have it as men servants, woman pilots, you can have it as women pilots, so on and so forth. So I could continue in this uh, inexhaustive um, um, video of how to form this the uh, plural of different nouns, but at your discretion, you can go online and check out and by practice you can also gain more information and knowledge on how to form the plural of nouns so thank you for watching